Hi everybody and welcome back. This is Umair from Tutorial Sub and today we will be discussing about how to create anchor links in Shopify and other sections. Now before we begin, there's a link in the description using which you can get first month on Shopify for just one dollar. So make sure to give try to that since it is an amazing deal and should not be missed. All right, so let's just hop on to our Shopify account really quickly. Make sure that you're logged in and created your account. I have done that already. So you can see currently it is loading. Just give it a couple of seconds. All right, so we are on the home landing page as you can see inside Shopify and everything seems to be good to go. So the very first thing you're gonna do is simply head over to your online store. So let me just really quickly show you that how my store is going to be looking. It is about my online gaming store. I am just editing this out so currently you can see it is set up like a dummy store but we will be modifying it in future. So you can see we have this button in here and we can click on that to head over to review section and basically this is an anchor link. So how to basically add this type of anchor links to your Shopify account? It is actually quite simple. So let's just head back to the backend section of Shopify store. Here you need to head over to your sales channel. You can see that on your left side of your screen, pretty much visible and make sure to click on to that. And you can see once we click on that, we have various options showing up. Like for example, blog posts, we have pages, navigations, preferences. And all of these are used to simply modify your storefront. So currently you can see the sense theme is currently active. We need to click on this particular customized option right in front of it. You can see if you uh, click on these three dots, you have preview, rename, duplicate. If you want to simply duplicate this. So let's just click on customize and we are into now our storefront section. So basically this is the exact place from where you can modify all of these buttons and everything going on. You can see here we have this reviews from our customers section and if I click on to this part you can see we have in here some controls on the right side. You have your headings, heading size, image width and all of it is basically used to modify. So if you want to add like for example an anchor link somewhere around on the top of this area you can easily do that and for that you're going to be clicking on this add block section and we are going to be searching for like for example button and let's just try doing that and if you search currently there is no as such button option but you can add it if you have any app installed related to your Shopify blocks. You can also download like for example Shopify forms but currently I'm using this particular already added buttons in here. You can see we have this button showing up and you can copy it as well. So control V and you can also click onto that and here we have a few options. So now the point to be noted here is that we are going to be anchoring it to another section and how that is going to be happening is you can see we have this image and onto that we have our text so the template on the left side is pretty much showing up what is going on and we can use this button as an anchor link so let's just say if I click on this section it should take us to the products page now in general it should happen that if you click on this shop now option it should head over to this particular product so let's just try modifying that and add another section. So you can see currently it is taking us to this particular part. Let's just go back to our home page. And once we click on this shop now button, you can see we have button link. So let's just modify in here as products. And once we do that, you can see we have all these products showing up. We have the chair, we have the mouse that we added. So if you do not have an idea how it was looking, let me show you in the backend section as well. Let me just click another Shopify account in here. So let's just head over to my main backend section. So it is quite simple actually if you give it a try to that you will be having an idea that how you can create it. So let's just click in here uh, Shopify login and here is our store. Let me just head over to that. Okay, so 
you can see in the products I basically have three products added and by the way if you want to add more products you can click on this add product option it is quite simple to add now what we need to do is once our product is added let's just head over to our anchor button link and choose it to all products so I wanted to once we click on this shop now button it should head over to all the products so you should have a better sense of your design how customers are going to be interacting your website now let's just um, check out to our profile how is it looking on the front end section basically our pay uh, our store let me just head over to that so if I click on my you can see if I click on shop now it is taking me to product section and from here I can further on move ahead and click on the products whatsoever I would like to choose and you can see if I click on this mouse I have my title and everything and below I have reviews and everything going on so pretty simple and if you want to add like for example some modifications to this part you can do that as well you can move to previous position you can simply uh, duplicate it and by the way the maximum number of blocks have been reached for this section that's why it is giving this error you can also add like for example image with text and all that stuff so make sure to give try to this kind of stuff now let me just click on add blocks and you can see we have multiple blocks in here that could be added in here we can add another section in here as well and we have below an email so this can also be used as an anchor you can see we have check all reviews this is also anchored to some another section and that is really simple to do so I hope this was helpful and you learned something new a lot of people have confusion that how do you actually navigate it to some other section so as I told you the point to be noted here is that let me show you if you head over to your home page you can see the button is going to be using the uh, link a hyperlink to which it is going to be directing to you can head over to collections products pages blogs so all of these are modifiable as well if you want to learn how to add few more hyperlinks in here how to add your custom menus button links I will be making a video onto that as well so make sure you stay tuned with that as well and yeah thank you so much for watching guys I hope this tutorial was helpful and you learned how to create anchor links in Shopify and other sections. So stay tuned for more videos like these since we are regularly uploading. You can head over to the link in the description to simply get your first month on Shopify for just $1. So that is a no-brainer deal there. And yeah, see you guys around in the next video.